Hello, it's Warren Hewitt here. Hope you're doing marvelously well. What am I doing standing in front of a box? A box. Okay, in here is a beautiful device made by a company called, well, I don't know how to pronounce this properly because it's German. Um, it's either Tegela or Tegela. In fact, it could be actually neither of those. All the German viewers will probably tell me I'm wrong. Anyway, I'm very excited to open it up. I got this a few weeks ago and we've been so slammed. We're doing videos, producing, engineering, mixing. I just mixed Rick Springfield's album, just finished working with Conrad Saul. In fact, I'm still working with him. I'm working next week and just juggling the 10,000 things that we do. We don't always have the time to do beautiful things like this. So what is it? It's called a cream or a creme, depending on how you want to pronounce it. Oh, wow. Look what it comes in. That's pretty freaking awesome. Oh. All right, it's pulled out of the way. Magically pulled out of the way by the guy holding the camera. Eric Von Derrickson. Wow. Tasty. Uh, oh, I see. Well, they... So why do I love this? Well, firstly, I love it because it's a work of art. You know, everything I've read about these just like, is just insane. What a beautiful user manual. Right, so what is it? It's an EQ and a compressor. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna stick this on our master bus and we'll print a mix through it and then we'll solo things and print through it. So what I have is I have a beautiful SSL bus compressor and I have some amazing Poltec mastering EQs. There are EQs that you can click and save them. Save the settings, hence mastering EQ. And I'm going to do, hmm, should I say a shootout? I'm gonna hear the differences printing through just this or just the EQ and the compressor. Now bear in mind, this beautiful piece of equipment, which I'm about to get out. Whoops, is 1,699 euros which would make it about, I don't know, 1,500 bucks. And they ship it worldwide. And this is built in Germany. This is built by German craftsmen in Germany. Freaking gorgeous. And it has some, there's some weight to it. This is really well made. And it, God, it looks gorgeous. Look, you know me, I love stuff that is great value for money. So we've got something here, which is a bus compressor and an EQ for about $1,500, $1,600. That's pretty amazing. And I love my Poltex and I love my bus compressor, but that SSL bus compressor, well, the SSL is worth a fortune. But those EQs there are like four grand each. So I mean, however you want to shape it, it's like $1,500 versus about $10,000, $11,000, worth of equipment. I'm roughly estimating. Anyway, this is gonna be a lot of fun to hear the differences between the two. We can solo instruments, listen through it. We can play, it's gonna be freaking awesome. So we're gonna put it on the master bus first of all and play with it. And uh, you know what the best thing about this? They've given one of these to us to give away for free. Yes, you can win it. And for the length of the competition, they're also doing a discount for anybody that watches this video and wants to buy one from them. Pretty amazing. All around, these guys are really looking after us. They really care about our community. Pretty freaking amazing. So let's fire it up and give it a listen. So here it is, plugged in, ready to go. Um, it's rather beautiful, isn't it? All right, from the left, top row, bypass. So in, bypass, pretty straightforward. Low boost, and then you've got your low frequency selection here from 20, 30, 60, 100, 140, 200. Then you've got a high frequency um, selection here, which is kind of nice, 10, 12, 16, 20, 24. That super high there would be like an air band. The point is what you do is you can go up there and you can boost super, super high. And what it will do is it will grab it there and just pull it up gently the whole way, creating this beautiful slope. A lot of people like the air band because it just creates air, obviously, but creates a lot of beautiful high end without it sounding too harsh. So it's a very, it's a great way of doing. So maybe we'll mess with that. But I think ultimately we're gonna simulate or emulate, if you like, what I'm doing with my Poltex and with my master bus compressor. Just see whether we can beat that or at least match it. If we can match it, then it's instantly $10,000 worth of gear for uh, whatever, $1,500, $1,600. So 
That's number one thing. Okay, bottom row here. Well, firstly, on the compressor side, this is really nice. You've got the 6120 full of the side chain, side chain low cut, which I love. I have that in a VSC, the Vertigo VSC, another amazing German product. And I don't have that ability, obviously, using Poltex with my um, bus compressor. So that's really, really nice. We'll try that out. Oh, another huge, huge thing is EQ into compression or compression into EQ. Great little tip. And I love being able to do that, and we can hear what the differences will do. Here's our threshold control. Beautiful, it's detented. It gives us lots of movement here, almost completely fully rotary, like a, you know, like a rotary pot. But because it's detented, it's going to make it much, much easier to recall, infinitely uh, easier. And then various attack settings, and of course various release settings. Um, and the very end there, our ratio, which is between 1.5, which is really sweet, all the way up to 10. And of course, I forgot to mention the master output. So rather nice, an all-in-one box. I'm very excited to hear what it will do. Okay, so let's check out a little bit of the track. It's a really, really dense track. You see, there's a lot of schnitzel going on. That's the live drums. Some samples. So that's like a supported sample, but there's also all of this programming going on. a lot of stuff going on so it's quite it's a really really dense mix that's just the drums there's not even like the explosions and the... I mean I went nuts on this the artist is uh, Caden Cashmere she's very young I think she was like 16 when we sang this I wrote this with my friend Liliana James So I have this main acoustic pine here. Basically, there's a lot of different instruments that we can solo and check out. So let's do that. Let's listen to the whole mix. Um, at the moment, we're in bypass. So what we're listening to is, and we'll print it. So let's go and create a new track. We'll call it Warrior Poltec SSL. So now we're going to print this chorus and the post chorus with the SSL bus compressor on and the EQ on. And this is obviously the Poltec EQ and the SSL bus compressor on my SSL. So that'll be our control. That's what we go back to. That sounds great. That's how the mix. I actually mixed it through that setting on the Poltec and that bus compression setting. So essentially, it's just pretty typical for me to leave those two things on. I may turn off the EQ and put them back on, but really, it's just doing the boom and fizz. As it points out on the on their website, on their Tegela website or Tegela website, who knows. Every German person knows, not me. Um, that's primarily what people use Poltex for on a mastering. So what we do is we're going to emulate it. Now, if I look over here, you'll see that there's some 60. And I'm boosting, um, well, it's, it's boosted at about 2 out of 10. And this only goes up to 5. So we'll go 1. So one click. It's not a huge amount of boost. So we'll do something like that. Visually, we'll just do it and then we'll see how it sounds. 
And then the high frequency is actually at 12, and I'm boosting about two and a half. So we'll round up a bit. We'll go to, ah, we'll go to the two. So we'll probably have a little bit more high end. So that's the EQ. Maybe we can mess with that. Um, but that's the basic EQ setting. Now, as far as um, the compression, the release time, I believe, on my SSO is set to auto. It's pretty standard for me. And my release is set to oh, right the way over here on 30, which is also pretty standard for me. And my compression ratio, I'm sure, is at four. I'll double check. But uh, yes, it is. All right, so that's ish, basically close to what we have. Now we're gonna have to match the input and everything um, for threshold and the output, of course. So let me create a new track. And we'll call it, uh, of course, uh, we'll call it the cream or the creme. I'm sure I'm getting every pronunciation wrong here. Okay, cool, so this, this is, essentially the same setup. But what I did is I went to, you know, I'll take it off that for a second. We'll print it without this little sidechain low cut. Is that better? Is that better? Hmm, interesting. Okay, I, I think I can hear a little bit of the pumping. So let's go and put that side chain uh, low cuts. So it's on 60. See how that affects the low end and maybe makes the song just print a little sweeter. Wow, so to me it's like, <laughs> this is a really, really dense, over-the-top song that has so many different elements going on. And I don't know, I really, I really like what it's doing on that. With a side chain on, it's pretty darn tasty. I'm gonna listen back to each of them. So going back to the SSL Poltec combination, which of course, now look, you can see there's a perceptible level output difference. So between that, and the one without the side chain, and the one with the side chain. Interesting enough, each one gets louder. So, but the dynamics, like the peaks, hmm, you know, are pretty similar. So maybe it's slightly hotter. Okay, so maybe we, uh, maybe for we for schnitz and sniggles. Um, gain this up a little bit, just so there's no argument. Let's come up. Let's make that 0.6. There's definitely more energy in the side in the side chain and non side chain um, cream. So, you know, it seems like it's. There's more dynamics getting through with the same attack and release times, which is pretty standard for me on an SSL. Seems like it's grabbing it just a little sweeter. I mean, this is a far more modern device, so they probably improved some of the little idiosyncrasies of my SSL bus compressor. Don't get me wrong, I love my SSL bus compressor. And I'm not looking here to replace it, but maybe it'll get replaced. A 
That sounds great. I mean, that is a fantastic sound. That's my Poltec and my SSL. Okay, so now we're gonna go for the, for the cream with no sidechain. Concentrate on this area here, you hear, here? Just kind of ducks a little bit there. Let's see how it feels on this one. So the vocal starts to duck into the mix on the SSL one here. Tiny bit. Let's see how the cream does. And it fares better. Oh dear. Deary, deary me. Okay. <laughs> okay, so we're just going to do one last thing here. Um, I was doing EQ into compression, which honestly I, I liked on the Master Bus. But we're going to do compression into EQ here for you. I like EQ into compression because I think it makes the mix a little bit more exciting. But just because I know people are going to ask, I'm not going to do the 120 as well. I just want to do the 60. We could do more and more tests. I'm going to live with this for a while and get into more stuff. So we're going to go here and we'll do now duplicate and give you. Uh, so this is CE compression EQ. Sounds freaking awesome. Now let's do the uh, no sidechain version. So turn that off. Just uh, duplicate that. So comp EQ. I mean, out freaking standing. I think I still prefer the EQ and the compression for my purposes, for the excitement value, but still, I mean, like if let's go, let's check out. So this is the side chain, 60, so it's letting that 60 breathe. And this is the compressor into the EQ, not the EQ into compression like we had done before. Let's go back and check that same section with my Poltec SSL combination. God, I want to say it's close. I, I don't know if it is. And I've mixed a lot of big records on this console. <laughs> I mixed uh, Lace Freely's last two albums. I mixed half of Aerosmith's record on this. Uh, I just mixed Rick Springfield's new album on this. I've mixed. Uh, a bunch of fray stuff. I've mixed a lot of great sounding records and I love my console, but wow. This is really amazing for the money. Incredible, incredibly good value. Okay, so what did that tell us? <laughs> I think I might prefer this. Um, now, obviously, I want to live with this for a few days and do different tests and all this kind of stuff, but 
it seems to me if we're going to test something else, program music is the way to go because this is really dense. As you notice from my outputs here and the way my threshold's set so hot up here, I'm running through a console. I'm running, smashing the schnizzle out of it. If you watch any of my hybrid mixing videos, which I just did one last week, I run things hot. I still record and mix analog in an analog way, even with digital stuff, you know. Lots of people who grew up on digital only will record little tiny DIs and then put virtual instruments on it. And that's that's cool. Um, I still come from that school that we talk about all the time, you know, that Crystal Algy talks about and most guys talk about where they say they're used to opening records on a console or just open up in a DAW and they sound like the album as opposed to like everything's, all the gains all over the place. I'm used to printing things hot. So that's a good test for something like this. Mm -hmm because we're slamming this. We are hitting this so hard. You know, look at it. The gain is on 1.5, the output. And I'm getting like two to three dBs worth of uh, gain reduction. And I've got my threshold, you know, on like two and a half. So, you know, it's it's almost off. So this is faring really well. It is a fear of mine sometimes when we new, use new equipment, especially new bus compressors, that they don't have the headroom. I'm afraid of that because there's a lot of EQs out there, especially the Poltec clones and stuff that don't have the headroom that the real Poltecs have. You know, if you get those, when I say clones, I mean the ones that look like Poltecs, not necessarily all the same components. Um, the thing about the real Poltecs um, that anybody will tell you is you can hit the schnizzle out of them. I mean, I love the way I can just blang right through those things. Um, and they're always on my master bus and I'm running super hot signal, whether it be like huge metal down to folk and everything in between. And what we've done here is we've taken uh, a song which is pretty slamming, um, tons of keys, as you saw, tons of drums, lots of stuff going on and printed it. And it not only did it fare really well, I think just emulating the sounds, I might prefer this on my master bus. Now, I mix with this on all the time. I mix with the bus compressor and the Poltex on all the time. That's the way I do. I mix through it. I don't necessarily slam them, but it's part of my mixing process. I know how it sounds. I don't turn it on the very end and go, ooh, you know, I leave it on. Most of the guys I know do that. In fact, all of the guys I know that mix on consoles just leave their master bus set like that. They might tweak it, but it is on during the whole mix process. Now, maybe if I spent a few days with this, maybe I could improve. I mean, this, the Poltec settings and the bus compressor settings are on my console are my favorite settings. This copying the favorite settings sounds as good, if not better, depending on your opinion. All I can say is whatever you want to say, and we can argue about this down below. If this is really about $1,500 and it's built in Germany and you can buy directly from them, you know, you know me, you know I love Yamaha guitars, you know I love inexpensive stuff. This is not cheap, but it is a bargain for what it is. We can really stand behind this. I had a very long conversation with these guys. They were very, very gracious in sending this. They're very gracious in giving us a discount and anybody wants to buy one. And of course, they're giving away one for free to win in the raffle. So please enter. I can't find a fault with this. I mean, I'm slamming it. I'm slamming it and uh, you know, I'm going to have it up, up on the rack there and we'll get to use it and we'll play with it. And we'll, we now have something that we can choose whether to use instead of our $10,000 worth of outboard. Pretty amazing. Pretty amazing. Hats off to you guys made a wonderful product. Um, I didn't go online and read any other um, reviews. So I'd be intrigued what other people think, but it seems to have the headroom to cope with an SSL console being slammed, which is wonderful. Um, I mix hot, you know, and that it does a great job. So if it can do that, it can definitely mix with your outboard DAW rig. So great work. Please leave a bunch of comments and questions below. If you haven't subscribed already, please subscribe, hit the bell, and then it will let you know. Please go to producelikeapro.com, sign up for the email list, and don't forget to enter the raffle. Have a marvelous time recording and mixing. Thanks ever so much for watching.